Hi, my name is Beth Hiley. And my name is Shelly Ganshaw. We're here at Spiel 2016 and we're going to do a quick tour of Hall 2. <laughs> Woohoo! We're standing right here between Hall 1. We have now officially entered Hall 2. And as we've done with other halls, this hall is really big. So this is a power tour. <laughs> yes, there's, and what's interesting about some of the, the, the things that are happening now, there's a lot more Kickstarters here. Seems like each year more Kickstarters show up. Our people who are trying to get funded on Kickstarter come and have a booth here. So you might be noticing some of that as you're looking around the hall. Now, if we were going to sort of assign a, a flavor to each hall, Hall 3 is for the, the biggest booths. Mm -hmm. Hall 1 is for just the big booths, but also starts getting some variety. Hall 2 is where you start getting big and medium booths, but also a lot of non-gamer booths. So, uh, good case in point, we've got Ultimate Guard over here. This big white and silver booth is all about boxes, sleeves, things like that. And you like know. mats, right? Mats for games yeah. and things like that? The more the specialty area things that you need for your games, but maybe don't come are the exact things that come in the game box. And this is these are still big players. These are still large booths, which is a major investment, in both time and money. But um, it's more a part of the larger gaming industry rather than uh, game publishing itself. And you'll notice here that we're getting through some of the comic area because it does say on the sign, McComic, McComic. Mick Comic Action! Mick Comic Action, <laughs> exactly. So Mick Comic Action, and we are now going through some of the comic book areas and such like that. And yeah, because... Figures and such. While primarily the, you know, the, the most of the booths you're going to get here at uh, Spiel are board games, this is also a comic book convention. So that is an important part that they always want to highlight, and we are walking through one of the juicy corners right at the moment. This is awesome because I wondered where all these t-shirts are, so now I can oh, come buy some of them. Yay, all right, this is good for me to know. I haven't walked over here yet either <laughs> at, at, the, at this Essen. Yep, here's some other um, publishers, people selling their bits, their inserts for games, you know, the fancy kind, so you can make sure everything fits in the box exactly the way you dreamed it would. This is a fun area over here. Right, and again, another good sign of sort of the industry expansion is uh, we've now got furniture makers here. And one of the things that I do love about the uh, 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 European conventions is you get people selling wine and beer. Yes, and I, I don't know if you'll see, there are some people actually dressed up as well as characters, even near our booth, but in, this, in here, uh, people who are shopping about wandering who are dressed in costume which is also fun to see it's fun although it's much less than you get at the american shows yeah it, it, and also I, I think might be less than in the past maybe i just haven't been in this hall enough <laughs> Now, someone was telling me that this show usually aligns with some of the school holidays, so the amount of kids that come to this show is really, really high. I mean, all the way down to itty bitty babies in, in strollers. So this is definitely a family affair to come to, to uh, Spiel and uh, uh, you know bring, ev bring everybody. <laughs> I'm always amazed at how behaved all the children are. I guess it's so much stimulation. They have a lot to look at. But kids will stay with their parents while they're doing their shopping. And then, of course, hopefully they get rewarded with some nice ice cream or a hobby. <laughs> a hobby experience or something like that. Yeah, as we just walked by the entrance to the Galleria, somebody's cooking something delicious. Mm, <laughs> yummy. Oh, there's so many cute clothes for kids and for adults here. Oh my goodness. And we're just about coming to the point where we began. We are doing a, a single large loop around each of these big halls, but we're not going up and down every row. So to, to canvas a hall completely, um, probably not taking into account the crowds that you could hit or having to wait in line, just to walk up and down the halls probably would take you a good half hour at minimum free. Even, even the smaller halls too because the booths are smaller so there's actually a lot more to look at in some ways. And then you wouldn't be able to linger that long at a 30 minute uh John, if you're going that quick here. So you probably <laughs> wouldn't play a single game. You would just, or you maybe even hear a spiel about a game. So this is. So, we're, I'm a little out of breath. I don't know about no, you. I'm, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a very quick tour of Hall 2. Um, and we hope you enjoyed this a quick look at Spiel 2016. Yay.